Hello friends, I'm Parwiz and this is our first video in making a text editor in PyQtA5 and Qtta Designer. Uh, this video is an introductory video and in this video I'm going to show you what uh, application what application we are going to make. Uh, we are going to make a simple text editor. Uh, <coughs> this is the example. Uh, uh, Basically, we have designed the main UI in uh, Qtta 5. Uh, let me show you. You can see that this is our designation. I'm using Qtta 5, uh, C++, Qtta 5 uh, for my design. After that, I uh, converted my main UI uh, to Python file. Uh, if you don't have uh, Qtta 5, C++, you can use uh, Qtta Designer. Uh, Mm, you can install that simply. It's a package. You can install the package uh, because uh, when you install PyQtta 5, uh, there is no Qtta Designer. Um, you need another package uh, that is called PyQtta 5 Tools. You should install that. Uh, but for the purpose of these videos, I'm using Qtta 5 because I'm uh, comfortable comfortable with Qtta 5. Uh, this is the main UI that uh, I have made. And I have uh, converted this uh, to the Python file. And let me open the PyCharm and run this. Yeah, you can see that uh, this is the text editor that we are going to make in this series of videos. Uh, maybe it will be uh, uh, it should be ten video or uh, twelve video. Uh, now <coughs> let me show you that what we can do with this text editor. We have file and file we have new. Uh, let me write something. Uh, if I click on new, you can see that uh, now in here uh, uh, it's telling me that the, the document has been modified. Do you want to save your change? If you want to save your change, you can simply save your change like this and you can save your file. Uh, if you want to, let me name it again. If you want, you can discard this um, and also, uh, for example, uh, let me name it again. You can cancel this. Uh, after that we have open, uh, you can uh, open a file in here, uh, let me open a text file, uh, desktop, uh, let me uh, find a, um, yeah, uh, okay, okay, yeah, you can see that uh, I have opened my text file, uh, also you can save your file uh, if you want to save you can save your file uh, you can save us your file uh, also you can uh, print let me print this uh, you can see that now we have a, a nice print uh, uh, dialog you can print I have two kinds of printer in here uh, but uh, it will be show your printer uh, the, we have uh, printer preferences. Uh, after that, we have uh, print preview. You can see that we have a print preview dialog in here. Uh, let me show uh, some, write something in here. This is a sample sample of rich rich text editor. <coughs> Also, we have export PDF. You can export your file as a PDF. Let me export this. Uh, I choose my local disk C, and I call it my uh, I call it file. Okay. I click on the save. Now, if I open my local disk C, you can see that I have a file that PDF. This is uh, a sample of rich not sample. Uh, this is a sample of rich text editor. Let me uh, change this to sample. Like this, okay. Uh, also in file we have uh, exit. You can exit your application. Let me run it again. Okay. Uh, also we have uh, we can make it bigger. Uh, like this. Also in edit we have a copy. 
Okay, in edit we have copy. Let me write something. Uh, please subscribe my channel for further videos. For further videos. Okay, uh, now you can copy this. Edit, copy, and you can paste it in here. Paste. You can paste another one. Paste. And if I press on Control V, also Control C, Control V. Let me check this. Also, I can paste by Control V. Uh, we have cat in here. Let me edit cat. And you can paste it in here. Paste. Okay. Uh, we have uh, undo. And also we have uh, redo. You can see. Uh, in format we have. Uh, let me remove this. In format we have uh, font. You can change uh, your the font of this. If you click on font we have a font dialog. For example you can make it bigger. Like this. Uh, also you can if color you can change the color like this and also uh, in a style uh, we have uh, you can make it bold for example let me remove this hello let me just a minute run this Hello, uh, friends. Uh, you can make it uh, in a style. You can make it bold. Uh, you can make it italic. You can make it underline. Uh, you can bring this to the center. Your text to the center. Let me make it bigger. Uh, you can make it to the right. Uh, here is our text, and you can justify. Now this is justify. Uh, also, we have a time and date. Uh, you can print time and date in the text edit. For example, time. This is our time. And also, you can uh, print um, date. And uh, this is date. Wednesday, January 31, 2018. Uh, also, we have text highlighter. If you click on text highlighter, uh, you choose a color. For example, I choose uh, uh, this color, yellow. If I write something, you can see that we have uh, a text highlighter. Also, uh, I have uh, help about. <coughs> this is a rich text editor. Uh, with editing and printing facilities, we have used Qta Designer for the main design. Uh, also, we have about Qta. This is uh, dialogue information about. Uh, this will be a rich uh, text editor that uh, we are going to make. Uh, also, you have uh, a tool where you can do some functionality. You can, for example, print. Uh, you can print preview. Uh, you can export as a PDF. Uh, also, you can uh, new. You can. Yeah, I close this. You can new, uh, for example, like this. You can save. Uh, you can save as. Also, you can open. We have different functionality in here. We, you can bold. Also, you can open the color dialog uh, like this. Mm. Let me bring it in left and left <coughs> center left color dialog. Uh, uh, this will be a text editor. Uh, this was an introductory video. I will make uh, the t uh, learning videos as soon as possible. Uh, if you like this video, please subscribe my channel. Uh, and also please like the videos i will add uh, the these learning videos uh, to my youtube channel